So moving right along here, I'm just going to build on to this. Now, obviously, you probably don't want to put too many shortcuts on a page from a design standpoint. It's not going to look all that swift. So I'm going to click here. And then based on these choices, we're going to click chords in a tab and accordions and tabs and toggle for that matter. So let's examine tabs. Now, I'm going to take this one step at a time because it can be a little confusing if you don't take it one step at a time. So I'm going to keep this really simple and we're just going to call this tab one. Now do not insert because we're not done. We're going to add tab and that's going to be tab two. Then we'll tab two content. Speed typist. Add, we'll make that three and copy that tab three content. I'll just copy that. Uh, add one more tab, call that four, copy, paste. Okay, now. Which one of these tabs by default do you want to make active? Well, I'd probably make number one by default. If you want to delete the tab, of course, you click right there. Now I'm going to hit insert, and it's going to insert the tabs. Now again, if you want to make further changes from this, it's really straightforward. Ultimatum tabs, title, open tab, close tab. Tab title, open class. If you want to add more, you can do it right from here. I would just copy and paste. So if you wanted to add five, you can just copy and paste. And then just make that a five. And then just make that a five. You understand? It's really, really that simple. Now, the cool thing about this, again, because it's built into the programming of the software, I can now go up here to preview changes. Now, keep in mind, I can put videos into those tabs. Okay, so here's tab one, here's tab two, here's tab three, here's tab four. Okay, so let's go back and edit the page. And of course, I can edit the page right from here, right? So just for uh, shits and giggles, one of my favorite Christopher Walken uh, <laughs> shits and giggles, I love that. Uh, so I'm going to take this from here to here, actually from here to here, pay close to tape. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in tab two. So tab two content will now be replaced with this short code. So I update that and preview changes. So now if I select tab three, well that's tab three content. Tab four, well that's tab four. But if I select tab two, drum roll please, boom, there you go. How cool is that? So you can hide things. See the cool thing about working with tabs and accordions is I can keep my site really, really clean, but then I can put whatever I want to put in there. Okay, it's really a lot of fun. Okay, now another thing we could do, let's go back to edit page again for a second, is we could choose to do this. Let's go to tab four content. And what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go to our media library. Now this might be a little too big, but we'll you know we'll just if if need, but we'll just bring in a smaller image next time. And it's gonna put that right there. And I'm gonna update that. So therefore, if I, I'm sorry, if I go to preview, and I'm going to pick four, and there is my image. Now, what it did, it resized it to fit inside of that uh, area, which is my column. See, it's columns right here. Actually, my mistake on that, that one's not columns. My, my mistake on that was a separate set. So there's three, two, and one. Okay. So let's do the same thing with accordions. So let's trash what we have. So I'm going to actually let's just add on to it. I know it's just pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to tabs and accordions, and let's pick accordion. And accordion is really the same thing. So accordion one, and then that will be accordion one again. Add row. Accordion two. And this is just going to make your site be more space efficient and it's going to add more professionalism to your WordPress site. 
And again, as you're experiencing, it's really simple to do with the ultimatum theme. And if you decide you don't want that, then delete it. And I'm going to insert that into my, and I'm going to update that and preview the changes. Again, the advantage of preview, it's going to open up a separate window. So therefore, accordion one, accordion two, accordion three, et cetera, et cetera. And if I wanted to put a video in there, how would I do that? I go back to edit page. I take my video from my previous one, which was right here. I go from here to there. Make sure you get the short code. I copy that. I come down here under accordion two. I replace that content with my video. So therefore, if I update that and preview the changes. So if I pick three accordion, but if I pick two accordion, there you go. How cool is that? Just like that. Boom. It, now it's there. Now it's not. Right? So, short codes are your friends. Okay? So, definitely get to know and experiment with short codes. In the next video, we'll get into working with short codes with these other options, which are really a lot of fun as well. And also, there's Google Maps. So, stay tuned.